Hey, as most of you know, I'm a nerd. I'm not the biggest Batman nerd, but I do have a couple of Batman comic books and also Batman hush here that you can barely see. So since the new Batman movie is out, I thought let's draw the Batmobile again because I really like this one. And I know we did this before, but we're going to do it a bit differently. We're going to cheat. If I am correct, then the new Batmobile is based on something like a Chevy Camaro from 1969 or maybe a Plymouth Barracuda from the 1970s. I, I think this one is a better fit, so I'm going to go uh, copy image and paste it in here. And I'm doing that because we are going to be cheating a little bit because I want to make it as easy for people who are not that good at uh, drawing cards as well and we are going to do a little bit of something that is not allowed in the in the drawing community and that is just simply drawing over something that's already there and believe it or not people in the industry do this quite often just because you need to speed things up you don't always have time to uh, to draw things out perfectly and and set up everything so sometimes if you have a car this already has the perspective in it we're just gonna use this as a baseline for our perspective. I'm gonna make sure that I am going to draw very roughly. I don't want details just yet. So let us get started. And what is important for this is that I'm really, I'm not doing tracing. I'm just using the underlying, uh, well, drawing image in this case to get the information. I'm getting the perspective information out of it and I'm just applying it to a new model and new detailing. But it is important for you to have the basic knowledge of, of the fundamentals. You have to know the perspective to be able to apply it here, because if you don't, it will still be visible that you are just trying to trace something. So at the same time, I do have an image, what we could do actually, just so it is, it is here as well. I don't like this, this is way too low. The Batmobile was not this low. This is more, it, it's still a toy, but I think it has good information that we can use. So I'm going to save this image. What I'm going to do next is go to the options, canvas, and we're going to do, uh, I think, drawing guide. No, not drawing guide. Pages is no reference. There we go. And image, import image. There we go. So this is going to hang around for us here. And then we can, we can take some of the information from here and apply it to our image. And one of the most important things is that you can really create all sorts of rotations. And by that, I mean that the base card that you choose can be in every angle you want. And you just take the detail information from your reference image and then you apply that to the car below or base. Let me not say car. And in that case, you can really have uh, drawings in totally different angles and from totally different views. Here, coincidentally, both my drawing and the image is in three quarter views just because I chose a reference image that was in the, in the same uh, view. So for me, it's easier to take the information from it. I'm going to make sure to draw a ground line here and just put, let's see our wheel onto that, move it out a little bit from underneath the car, something like this. And now if I, let's see if I should definitely add other part of my wheel. I'm just going to quickly uh, duplicate that and move it somewhere. I think it should be there, right? Here is the parts that I don't really need. Maybe I can push it a bit more into that direction. I think it has a larger wheelbase. Merge down and take away this layer. And it is already looking relatively close. The back wheel is a bit small. So I think what we could adjust is ooh, a little bit this line. Could go more parallel. So we could have a bit more parallelity between the, these two lines. And then I can make, try to see if I can make the wheel a bit bigger. How does that look? It looks a bit more appealing. 
Uh, let's check it with... I feel I could make the wheels a little bit bigger just in general. Let's see how that looks. So we're going to select everything. Uh, uniform transformation, yeah. Or maybe what I can do. Long press on the selection, so it's going to select what already was there. And I'm just going to uh, cut and paste. So we're on a different layer. And now I can make it bigger without feeling bad about it. So select and move it there. And then select what's left there and move it closer there as well. Let's see if we bring it a little bit lower. I like it more when it's lower like this. And then I'm just gonna fill in. We can always redraw. This is still just a sketch, so I don't worry about that too much. And this already looks a bit more powerful, more aggressive. I like this a bit more. Okay, back to our drawing. So mostly I'm looking at, at this shape now and trying to construct it correctly in the 3D space. And what we can do as well, come back here and just take a look at the front of it. This is, this is just a toy again, but at least it gives us some extra information. So here, technically, we can move all of this a little bit inwards. And then here we have area like that. And also there's like, you can see that there's under structure here below the car. And at this point, the underlaying image, I turn it on, turn it off. I use it whenever I need it, but because I already have a lot of the information in there, I need less and less of it. I also brought in a new uh, piece of reference imagery just for the front of the car where I'm drawing the headlights right now. And as you can see, this is from a totally different angle and it does not matter because I already have that really important underlaying structure and from here on, it's really just all about those final details, copying them over, taking them from the reference image and applying them to the new card that you're just creating or I'm creating in this case, based on that uh, underlying image. And here is it really just having fun imagining how would that work because the construction is there. So the, the detail is working, the perspective is working, the proportions are working. So it's all about you having fun. You can also adjust it, uh, change the detail up and, and make it your own car in the end. So this is detailing work that I don't care about right now. I want to see if we have the base of it. There you go. That's a, that's a pretty uh, pretty close Batmobile from a different angle. So we didn't copy this Batmobile. We used this underlay and we built the detail from this onto this underlay. And now I'm going to merge this down. I'm going to bring down the opacity of this one and I'm going to detail this one out. And as for the detailing process, most of you already know that it just make a new layer and now draw over it, bring in some more little details here and there. And depending on what you like, what your style is, make it less or more <laughs> sketchy. Well, I wouldn't make it more sketchy, but definitely uh, you can leave some sketchiness in there. Many people, including me, like that. But since detailing is all about patience and attention, I am going to call it the end of the video here because you already saw this process from me before. But before we do that, why don't you guys tag me in your Instagram posts if you draw the new Batmobile? I would be curious how you guys do it. And also, uh, I'm curious if you guys uh, use this sort of approach, if you ever use an underlaying uh, image to make your uh, drawing a little bit easier, faster, or the, so you can build a better perspective. And with that, as always, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new or I hope uh, this, this methodology helps you in the future. If you liked it, hit that like button. I'll make sure to look at the flower for every like I get. You can also subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. And as always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time. 
be safe and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.